Hi, I'm Jamie Canoy from Florence, South Carolina, and I came to the ladies' home in October of 2017 addicted to heroin, meth, and bad relationships. I was angry and bitter and lost custody of my kids. I gave up. I fell into a deep, dark hole, so I just used more and more to numb myself, and someone rescued me and brought me here. And when I really got, when I got here, I was really angry and I didn't think I could do this and I tried to give up, but God had a hold of me and wouldn't let me go. Exodus 14, 14, the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. I realized finally that I didn't have to try so hard myself that he could do it for me. God has taught me to die on myself daily and to get out of my own way and to do what he prompts me to do. And through the daily journal, I've learned a personal walk with the Lord. I've tried for many years to get sober on my own and failed. Even though I love my kids, I just couldn't do it. And I'm here and I lost my kids because my oldest daughter had called the cops on me because she didn't want her mommy to die. And I lost them. And Psalms 118.8 says, it's better to trust in the Lord than put confidence in man. I've learned to walk with the Lord and when I first got here, I was unsaved, didn't know anything about the Lord at all. I got saved and baptized here. I've restored relationships with my family. I actually got my first visit this weekend after 10 months, and they're really impressed with this program. And I'm not allowed to have contact with my children, but I'm actually, now that I'm here doing what I'm supposed to be doing, I'm, I'm able to send them gifts and send them letters. So when the Lord's ready, he'll give me my kids back, as long as I do what he wants me to do. And I'd like to thank Steve Curtin for this program. And I'd like to thank my leadership for not giving up on me after I'm very, I've been very stubborn in a few matters. <laughs> I'd like to thank Ms. Hannah for counseling me and having patience with me and work with me in my anger and my rebellion. And I would like to thank Brother Barnes for allowing me to stay for the grad program. And I would like to thank Pastor Kingsbury for this church and his open arms to all of us and a home for us to be discipled in. And I'd like to thank Ms. Lisa for never giving up on me. That's it. Good evening, North Love. My name is Heather and I'm from Southington, Connecticut. I came to the RU Ladies Home School of Discipleship in November of 2017. <clears throat> when I came here, outwardly I demonstrated Christianity. I went to church, I read my Bible, I taught at a Christian school. But inwardly my heart was far from the Lord. When life got overwhelming and trials came, <clears throat> I resorted to an addiction of an eating disorder and self-harm for over 10 years. These behaviors were manifestations of root issues, including anger, control, bitterness, and rebellion. Since coming to Ruth, I've learned many things. One of the most important things I've learned is what love is and how to demonstrate that love towards others. I've learned forgiveness, not only of others, but of myself. And I've learned humility and submission. All of these, um, my example, anchored in Christ. <clears throat> Two of the most profound things I learned here were a personal relationship with Christ, not just learning, but actually doing and demonstrating. And focus. Um, Commonly, I have a focus on myself um, and my emotions, and therefore, I make decisions based off of those emotions. But since coming here, I've learned to take the focus off of myself and put it on Christ and his word. No matter what challenge comes my way, no matter what fear I face or mistake I'll make, he's always there to help me, and I know that he will work all things together for my good. 
And that no matter what, he'll always love me. Second Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will hear their land. And Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. This scripture is essential for me in my personal walk with the Lord. If I keep my focus on him, trusting him and wholly submitting to him, he'll always guide me in the right direction. And my relationship with him will only go stronger and closer as time goes on. After graduation, I will continue to stay here for the graduate program, helping as a housing assistant. And I'm eager to see what the Lord will teach me and how he will grow me in this next phase of my life. I want to first and foremost thank my Lord Jesus Christ, for he's not only my savior, but my healer and my redeemer. I want to thank Steve Currington, who had a compassion and love for the addicted and his obedience to calls God, to God's call on his life to create this ministry, and for the Currington family for their current continued support of our youth. <clears throat> Two of my greatest blessings, my children. <clears throat> Sorry. Pastor Townsley and members of Central Baptist Church for providing me the opportunity to come here and their prayers and support. Pastor and Mrs. Kingsbury, members of North Love Baptist Church, your example of God's love, humility, and kindness. Miss Shirley, Miss MB, and Miss Stacy, your support, prayers, and encouragement and love have been an immense blessing. For Brother Barnes and Miss Hannah, thank you. The Lord has used you mightily in my life. Your love, patience, mercy, and biblical counsel or a testimony of how God can use others to, to guide the hurting to Christ. And to each of you, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing the Lord to use you in my life to point me to Christ and helping me to learn ultimately to let God win. Hello, North Love. My name is Eric Stamper. I am 25 years old and from Palatine, Illinois. Before coming to RU, I was addicted to heroin, crack cocaine, marijuana, and tobacco. I knew who God was, but I didn't know him. I first came to RU in the Winnebago County Jail. <clears throat> I started RU in my second month of the 19 that I was incarcerated. I got saved on August 24th, 2016. Brother Al Page led me to the Lord. I spent 18 of the 19 months in his classes. During my time in jail, I was offered a plea bargain of 15 years, the maximum they could sentence me to. At that time, I had asked for the first time of many to be allowed to come to the men's home and was told no. Um, the state offered me 10 years after that. I again kept asking and kept asking and kept being told no. I stopped asking, asking and started praying. Um, the Lord removed the judge that I had at the time and the state's attorney and replace them with two that were willing to work with us. I went in front of my new judge and again, I didn't ask. He suggested me to come to this program, to this home. Um, I wanna, since my, my release from jail, God has restored my relationship with my family. He has given me a healthy, healthy friendships. He has shown me through the Bible and preaching from Pastor Kingsbury and Brother Barnes and all the other preachers that we have that come through the home how to be a better man, how to live biblically, and how to make myself and try and strive to be more like Christ. Um, I wanna thank Pastor Kingsbury and Mrs. Kingsbury for carrying on this ministry. I would like to thank Brother Barnes for his leadership and Brother Aiken's hard preaching. Um, I would also like to thank Brother Wilt for allowing me to enter the Rockford Transformation Home. Um, for Steve Currington starting this program and having the passion for addicts that he did. I would also like to thank Detective Wozner for orchestrating my arrest, because if he didn't, I wouldn't be here today. Um, I would also like to thank 
all the men in the home for holding me accountable and for showing me the love that they did when I first got here. Some of them aren't here anymore, but there are a few that are, so thank you guys. And I want to thank the Lord for not giving up on me. Um, he refined me. He took the dross from the silver. He could have thrown me away, but he didn't. After the men's home, I'm going to the RU Transformation Home, and I'm going to continue with the RU Friday night meetings and church services and the Upholds curriculum. Thank you, North Love, for allowing addicts like me to become, to become a part of your loving church. So humbling to be part of God's work, isn't it? North Love, will you stand with me? And let's just give honor to the Lord for his wonderful work.